Well, hello there, Little Foot Adventures. Today we have a new item for the 109 camper, and this item is something I saw on social media, and I thought I'd give it a try. It is a trailer harness plug protector. So what this does is when you're camping or have your camper sitting at home, it protects this plug. And if you can look inside, it's, as right now, it's actually getting a little corroded and stuff like this. So by me installing this and when the camper's sitting at the house or at the campground you're disconnected you can plug this in and it'll protect it from the elements so let's go ahead and get this open and start installing it okay we got this out of the package now and it's kind of cool actually it's a thick flexible rubber it also comes with uh, some self-tapping screws so let me just give you a quick demonstrate of what this does when you install it so you see the little clasp right there, and you have this on your plug. You push this in, and it locks in place so it doesn't fall out. So it's actually pretty handy. So what I'm going to be doing is installing this down on the tongue, so when I'm not using the camper, it'll be protected from the weather. So let me get the tools together, and we'll get this installed. Okay, the tools that you're going to need here is a impact driver with a Phillips head. I like to use a center punch. You can get these at Home Depot. They're made by Husky. They're really awesome tools. Not for you know, using for around the house as well. And a level. So first thing you want to do is find the location of where you want to mount this thing. And what I did is just kind of pulled this off, hooked it up inside, and then kind of seeing where would work for me. I think in this area would be fine because I still have some slack there and it is kind of, I think that's a good spot. So let me open the screws and we'll get one of these started in there. But for, for now, we want to make sure it's level. Now remember, you don't have to, but I like to make sure things are going nice. So let's do one center punch hole. I get a couple punches. And if you can see there, it makes an indentation of where your mark's going to be. Open the package. Now, self tapper screws came with. Tip is for self tapper, it is a standard Phillips head screw. that in there you got your mark and you're gonna drive it now just back it off a little bit so you have some room to move it around and then you can check your level again Okay, that's my mark. I'm going to put one on the opposite side in the corner. And we repeat the process. Get a screw. Put it inside here. And go ahead and drive it in. Now you have two in there. You can kind of snug them down. You want to over tighten them because remember this is rubber. It will squish it. And at this point you won't have to level it anymore because you already have it leveled out. So you can just continue installing. And the last one. That's all installed. 
So remember, you gotta plug it in. And now we are protected, whether it's raining out when you go camping or it's dusty out. Um, you can also go a step further. I don't have any, but they make electrical lube that you put inside these things to keep them nice and lubricated. That's, that's something I'll probably look for in the future. But as far as I'm concerned, that's a really nice piece of equipment. Works great. Protects everything that you need protected. But anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. And if you like the video, subscribe. We also like to do reviews on items. So if you have anything you wanted us to review or have an item you would like us to review, send us an email. My email is in the description box. Thank you.